hey everyone welcome back to febro so in this video i will be explaining that how to fix internet keep disconnecting when playing game on windows 11 so many have complained about network issues in windows 11 especially when playing game or running a network intensive application the problem appeared to be linked to misconfigured setting issues with the wi-fi network or problematic driver so we will be fixing all of them so let's quickly get started the first thing that you will have to do click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt then click run as admin click on yes now here you have to run a few command and all these command you will be getting in the description so you can copy and paste one by one so the first command will be netsh space winsock space reset hit the enter key now the next command is netsh space int space ip space reset again hit the enter key the next command is ip config space forward slash release then type ip config space forward slash renew and the final command will be ip config space forward slash flush dns so once all these commands are completed you have to close it next click on your windows search type ncpa.cpl hit the enter key now here you have to look for your wi-fi adapter right click on it click on properties now here you have to click on configure another box will be up now here from the top menu option click on advanced and here in the property section if you get a value by the name 802.11n then in that case you have to select it and then from the right hand side you will have to disable it okay so make sure that you have to only do this with 802.11n not this one that says end forward slash ac forward slash ax so many of you will find it but many of you will not find it like me so don't worry if you get it then only you will have to disable it then from the top menu option only click on power management and here you find an option allow the computer to turn off this device to save power so you will have to uncheck it then you have to click on ok and now you can close it next click on your windows search type services hit the enter key and here you have to look for a service by the name wlan auto config so scroll down to the w section and then you have to look for wlan auto config this one make a double click on it and here you have to assure that the startup type has been selected to automatic and the status is running and even if it's running then you have to click on stop then click on start again once you are done click on ok close it now we also need to make some changes in the registry we have to modify a few settings so click on windows search type reg istry registry right click on the registry editor click run as admin click on yes the registry editor will be up so now here you have to come to this location so what you can do you can copy this path from the description and paste here hit the enter key and then you will directly come to this path of the registry so once you come up here click on the group policy then on the right hand side you have to create two different keys so make a right click hover up to new choose dot 32 bit value and you have to rename it as f minimize connections where f will be in the lower case minimize m will be in the capital without any space connections c will be in the capital even you will get this name in the description you can copy and paste so once you have created make a double click on it and make sure the value data has been set to zero click on ok now again make a right click on the blank space over up to new choose dot 32 bit value and rename it as f that will be in the lower case soft with s capital disconnect with d capital connections with c capital once created again double click on it make sure the value data has been set to zero now click on ok and now you can close it now make a restart of your computer and see that if the problem has been fixed now in case still if you have the problem the next what you will have to do 
click on the network connection icon at the right hand corner then click on your wi-fi arrow icon over here then click on this i button that says properties and here in the network profile type you will find the public network and the private network so what you can do instead of public network you can switch this to private network and also make sure the metered connection has been disabled okay so it will be selected to private network and the metered connection will be disabled once you are done close it now make a right click on the windows icon from the suggestion click on the device manager in the device manager you have to look for network adapters double click on it then you have to look for the wi-fi adapter right click on it and choose update driver click search automatically for drivers and if the updates are available it will automatically update it and if not then you will be getting this message so if it's already updated then what else you can do right click on it click on properties then from the top menu option click on driver and here you will be getting an option of rollback driver so you will have to click on it choose any of the reason then you have to click on yes or you can write anything whatever you want to then it will be rolling back the driver to the previous version of drivers so once you are done again restart the computer and now i'm very sure that your problem will be fixed and also make sure that you restart your modem and your router so that's all guys for today hopefully after applying all this solution your problem will be fixed and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye